Hey guys, Nathan again with the Solid A Mortgage Team, and I wanted to do another uh, video here at the lake uh, that we're at today. It's a beautiful uh, November afternoon, and just want to talk just a little bit um, about a property that I'm purchasing, and it's not this property, but it's not too far away, and it's basically an 86-acre property that has 10 log cabins on it that I plan to do uh, VRBO and um, you know Airbnb and that type thing on the property, and um, been thinking about that a lot lately as far as uh, you know basically a game plan of how to how to make this property work uh, game plan on how to finance it get it purchased uh, you know and just the whole the whole uh, you know plan moving forward going into next year now I'll give you a little background of the property um, it was actually owned by a guy that had owned it for probably 20 years more maybe more than that and had basically built most of the property. He did a great job with it. Um, it's got city water, it's got septics, it's got uh, you know all kinds of things you know that um, you know that a, a place like that would need to have. It's got all the infrastructure and it's got a good setup. And the nice thing is it's got the um, possibility to for some value add on it as well. So there will be a uh, you know there's room to to add not only maybe a couple more cabins if we want to do that. Um, we might be able to do uh, some glamping tents in some way um, and really get creative with it. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about the project. Um, there is a, uh, you know, a lot of opportunity with that. And as I think about it, I, I, I was thinking about, okay, how, you know, once I got my, uh, you know, took a look at it and got my contract accepted, I was trying to figure out the best way to get it financed. And I decided to go with the hard money loan. And I don't know if you are familiar with a hard money loan or a private loan in that way. Um, you know, but I decided to go that route. Now, we offer, I, I've been in the mortgage business for almost 20 years, you know, with that. And we offer all kinds of different loan programs. But I thought this one may be the best route to go on this property. Um, basically because with the uh, 10 acres, or excuse me, the 10 cabins and the 86 acres, it's basically a unique property. So to try to get a loan on that... Um, you know through a mortgage lender would be difficult uh, through a commercial lender it's possible but a lot of times commercial lenders are taking quite a long time to get things closed now not all lenders are like that but a lot of them are especially in our area um, I'm working on another commercial loan right now on a property and we're, go we're going on month four and it probably won't close until month five and it's a refinance and that's okay you know it'll get done eventually but on a purchase you know you don't always have that kind of time with the seller um, the seller on this property is basically you know ready to get the uh, the loan closed the project closed so he can move on with his life and then I'm ready to get it closed because I'm excited to get um, some contractors in there before we get some snow on the ground and that type thing to start getting uh, everything ready for spring so that we can start to get you know some units uh, rented and start to get some some bookings on there so i would decided on the the hard money route and i think it'll work out to be a good good way to go so we're going to close this within 30 days um, it's going to be very expensive as i said uh, usually with a hard money loan you're looking at you know interest rates in the you know 8 10 12 percent range depending on the situation um, but the good thing is it's not as stringent as a commercial loan would be so um, depending on your lender uh, on the hard money side um, you know they'll probably pull a credit report to have it on file and they're going to look at your financials but they're not going to dig in as deep as uh, a commercial lender would because on a hard money side they basically base that um, on the equity um, you know that's going that they're going to have on the property and they're pricing that risk in with the higher interest rate and the higher fees so the fees and closing costs on a hard money loan are going to be a lot more expensive than a regular loan but again the convenience and the ability to actually close on the loan is something that's very important um, not only to you as the buyer but it's very important to the seller as well uh, the seller when they get an offer if they have two offers and they know they can close one of them in 30 days and the other one's not going to close for 90 days or 120 days with a bank um, they're most likely going to take the one that can close quicker so they can get their funds quicker and that type thing and that may also allow you to to offer a little less you know on the price um, you know to let them know that hey this is a going to be a hard money deal that that's going to close and it's going to close quickly and that can a lot, oftentimes help your offer too so 
Um, so if you've been thinking about purchasing a rental property, a short-term rental property, uh, a flip, or anything along those lines, um, we would love to help you with that. So like I say, we've got a really good hard money, uh, hard money lender and a couple investors that we work with um, that may be able to help with that. So basically on the hard money side of things, we only do Indiana, Kentucky, and Florida um, you know, currently. But like I say, if you've got a property in that area, um, give me a call. Uh, my number's at, below the video here. Um, or send me an email. I've got all my contact info down there with, uh, you know, all the details of the property that you're looking at, um, you know, what you, uh, your game plan is with that property. And let me see if I might be able to help you get that purchased or refinanced in some way that may work out a little better for you and could allow you to, um, you know, not only expand your portfolio, but also maybe even just get you started if you're just starting, um, you know, in the real estate investing world. So, um, so definitely do that. Reach out to me and we can talk a little more about your details and we can go from there. Have a great day. Thank you.